Oh, look at it. Wait. Oh, dear Lord. Oh, my God. Look at that thing. What's going on, YouTube? So, I know I didn't get to give you guys an introduction to this video, and I apologize about that. So, I try to get footage before work, sometimes during lunch, and on my day off. And so, one day I went to a pond and I caught one fish. Hey, fishy, 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 fishy. You gotta say that. It'll bring them. It don't bring the monsters, it just it brings the giants. We should catch a fish here. Even if it's not a big one, we should be able to pull out some kind of a bass. There we go. Take it easy. This, just a little guy right through the roof of the mouth. This is a tough area to be fishing right now. Things don't look so great. The fish is really cold. Um, but if you notice the water, the water's blowing this way. So naturally what's gonna happen is anything small, like the smaller fish are gonna be underneath there, gonna be pushed towards you. So I don't know if you've ever heard the cast into the wind, but when times are tough, you can go down to a finesse style, cast into the wind, and you'll get yourself a fish. None of this, still a fish. It's good looking. See you later, guy. Thank you. And that setup right there is just on this wacky rig. Real small finesse. My finesse rod. This is 10 pound braided line to an FG knot. If you guys haven't seen one of those, you recommend you highly look them up. That's an FG knot right there. And they're real small. They go through the guides really smooth. And this is a 8 pound fluorocarbon line. The next day it was so cold. Um, during lunch, I went a few places and uh, it started off like this. And parts off your car. <laughs> Look at the ice forming. <laughs> oh, God. Here I thought I was fighting something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I caught that sweet bait. That guy's bait. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. And then um, we fished that spot for a while, didn't catch anything. I moved to another location. All right, we had to move locations. Here we are at another spot, small. This is my arch nemesis. I never catch fish here. Oh. <laughs> there it is. I don't know if you guys saw that. Right whenever it came up. Oh man, he, hey, 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 hey. That's really good. Hey, hey, hey. All right, all right, feisty guy. Feisty guy. I'll see you later. All right, guys. <laughs> We're about to find out how cold it actually is right now. It feels like 19. Hey, what? It feels like 19. It feels like 19. Well, my buddies Mondo and Tony just left me. Maybe I shouldn't be fishing. How am I going to make these videos for you guys? I mean, I don't even know if I'm going to put this out there for y'all. Come on, little guy. There you are. There you are. Just a little one. Take it easy. You got all three troubles, huh? There you go. I mean, they've been eating something. I mean, look how red this little guy's lips are. He's a nice fish. Yeah? Oh, man. See you later, little guy. Thank you. So here's what I think is happening. I've fan casted just about everywhere. The two fish that I hit, one was on the opposite side, right over there. The other one was over here. Both times have I casted right over there. It's like 19 degrees out here. It feels like 19. And that water right there is warmer coming out than what's actually out here. I'm thinking the fish are trying to stay warm, which is why the little guys are over there. 
And out of all things, on the chartreuse rattle trap, that's caught everything else. So then today, I tried two more new spots. The first place went like this. What are you doing, Tony? <laughs> that second spot went like this. Elmendorf Lake Park. Sometimes you pray to your gas tank that you get more fuel. <laughs> My chartreuse rattle trap is stuck. You know, the one that caught me that fish and we've moved two spots and nothing and I'm now losing my rattle trap. Oh. What do you got? <laughs> you were on a wacky rig? <laughs> and then right whenever we're about to quit, well really try plan C, we decided to go to another location. And this was about a 45 minute drive um, on private property. And that's where the monster was caught. And let me show you how that looks. It's a big bass? Yes! Oh, look at it, wake! Oh, dear Lord, oh my God, look at that thing! Oh my God! <laughs> Turn that thing sideways, oh God! <laughs> you got a scale? Oh, I got a scale, get it from my bag. Oh, he's it's big. It's in the front pocket. Take, take him off the hook. Oh man, dude. Yeah, try, try, try not to hurt him. Cut it if you need to. Put it right here, Coop TV. <laughs> Almost eight. Seven. It said eight at the beginning. Seven. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. Oh wait, it's going back. Oh, 798. It was eight pounds. Killing. We can get rid of the cold water. Just let him sit there. That's what we did with the last one. We let him sit there. Yeah. There he goes. He's moving slow. There he goes. Oh my God! Look at that thing. <laughs> Thank you there so you much, go. Paul. Oh, Shit, man. My I really pleasure. appreciate my that. Pleasure. Good job, dude. Yeah, that's crazy. I'm the biggest bass I've ever seen in my life. Again, I'm new to this, so um, it was an experience, and I'm glad my buddy Tony caught that fish. That's actually his new personal best. Um, that's the biggest bass I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Stay tuned. If you like what you saw, hit the like button, subscribe. Make sure that if you haven't seen any of my other videos, to check them out whenever they do pop up. And I um, appreciate you guys. I want to thank all the uh, subscribers, all 92 of you guys. You guys have been great. Appreciate the love and support on all the forums. And remember to keep casting and uh, fish with your...